Welcome to an introduction to electrical circuits. This series is tailored towards the course MA2009, so it may not be so helpful for other universities. This is an introductory circuits course made for mechanical engineers, so it's definitely less comprehensive than a circuits course designed for electrical engineering students. Nonetheless, the laws and methods are still applicable because science is just that consistent. So I hope it's helpful even to electrical engineers, and I'm really sorry I'm unable to cover more elaborate topics. This course requires certain fundamental prerequisites in maths. I think the most important of them includes solving system of linear equations, which is essentially matrices, complex numbers, and evaluating limits. However, there is a way to ease your life on the first two topics that I mentioned and please hear this out. I highly recommend getting a calculator which can solve a system of linear equations and perform calculations on complex numbers. And please get this from the start of the course because it takes time to explore how these calculators work and it can greatly save your time in solving these problems. It would also be great if you can get a calculator which can solve roots of polynomial functions. This means that when I give you a polynomial function like this or this, the calculator is able to solve for their roots, which is where the graph cuts the x-axis, over here. Remember that your professor is uninterested in your understanding of mathematics. They are interested in your application of concepts in circuits, so it's not worth burning your time to do the mathematics manually. In fact, it only makes you more susceptible to careless mistakes. In this course, we will be following the conventional current to solve our problems. You don't have to overthink this. If you want to know, it just means we assume that electricity is the flow of positive charges, when in reality, negatively charged electrons flow through wires. Speaking of conventions, I highly recommend following my sign convention so you can better understand these videos because it can get confusing if your working is different from mine. Contrary to most students' belief, sign conventions actually are meant to make our life easy. The most important thing is to be consistent. Again, if you feel uneasy, just follow closely to my sign conventions throughout this series. In the next video, we will dive into the important laws of this course. See you there.